Hello, I'm Ross, I work at Rive, and today I'm going to be talking about some updates we've made to the Rive editor. As you probably know, Rive has a state machine. And up until this point, you could only control the state machine using state machine inputs. However, our new feature called data binding allows you to do a whole lot more. You still have numbers, booleans, and triggers, but you can now control the state machine using strings, colors, and enums. We also have converters that allow you to control and change values into other values. And we also have instances that allow you to create multiple versions of the same artboard with different properties. As a quick example, if I wanted to transition between idle and run, I would set up two transitions, give them a duration, and then I would go up to my artboard. I go over here and click plus to create a new view model. And then I go over here and click plus number. And I'll call this number property num. And so just like before, I can go down here, highlight the transitions, and say if num is equal to 1, then transition in this direction. Or if it's equal to 0, transition in this direction. So I can change this property here and back again. It's exactly the same, except that data binding gives you so many more options to use. We are encouraging users to make the switch from using state machine inputs to using view model properties for a much higher level of control over your Rive files. Check out our data binding tutorials playlist on Rive's YouTube channel.